name is Jamie from St Giles and St George's Church and welcome to our Assemblies Online. It's so good that you can be with us today. Now each week we are going to be sharing a Bible story with you and as well as that we're going to be having a little thought about what that means for Christians today. And we're going to finally finish off with a song that you can get involved with. So are you sat comfortably? Well, Let's begin as we go and find Sarah as we look at the question of what makes us happy? So today we are thinking about what makes us happy. I wonder what makes you happy? Well, I am really happy today to have Becca with us again. Can you say hello to Becca? Becca, can you say hello to everyone? Ah. Oh. Well, considering we're talking about being happy, you don't look or sound very happy today, Becca. You're not? Oh, well, what would make you happy, Becca? You've made a collage of things that would make you happy. Okay, you're going to show us this collage? What is on this collage? Okay, well, we've got a year's supply of worms, a film all about Becca and a TV wall, a jacuzzi instead of a bird bath. And what's down here? All the bird toys in the world, a private jet so you haven't got to fly anywhere, and you want to be green. Well, I mean, we could dye you green if you want, but you haven't got any of these other things, Becca. You'll buy them when you win the lottery. Well, are you sure these things are going to make you happy? Well, surely there must be something in your life now that brings you happiness, Becca. Oh, well, what if you never win the lottery? <laughs> then you guess you'll never be happy. <laughs> well, Becca, Becca, I'm not sure that's the best attitude to have, really. <laughs> but it, it does fit in quite well with our Bible story today. A parable that Jesus once told about a father who had two sons. Let's find out what happened to one of those sons. Stories of the Bible. The prodigal son. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love, all kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. So Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, Um, excuse me? I want my share of your estate now, before you die. Okay. So his father agreed and gave his son his inheritance. A woohoo! A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings. See ya! And moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. Huh? About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land. Aw, oh, man! And he began to starve. Hey, you! He convinced a local farmer to hire him. Thank you! And the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the food he was feeding the pigs looked good to him but no one gave him anything. Finally, he said to himself, at home even the servants have food enough to spare, and here I'm dying of hunger. I know. I will go home to my father and apologize and ask him to take me on as a servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. Sir! His son said to him, 
Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet, and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast, for this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. Ah, ah, yeah! Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. Huh? Hey, you! And he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. Woohoo! All right! Party time! All right! Yahoo! The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him. Ah, oh, man! But he replied, All these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back after wasting your money, you celebrate by giving him a great feast. His father said to him, Look, dear son, you have always stayed by me, and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day, for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. that leaving home and having that freedom and all of that money would make him happy, but did it make him happy? <coughs> no, it didn't, did it? Actually, he realised that he had been much happier before. So, Becca, <coughs> maybe you don't need to win the lottery or to buy all those things to be happy. <coughs> Can you think of anything in your life right now that makes you happy? <coughs> oh, you like eating the worms that you have got? <coughs> you actually quite like the colour of your feathers. <coughs> Good, I think red suits you better than green. Oh, you like your bird bath when the sun's out, which it is, which is good. Oh, and you like to dance. Would we like to see some of your dance moves? Oh, would you like to see some of Becca's dance moves? Take it away, Becca. Here we go. Oh, a very good dancer, Becca. <laughs> that made me incredibly happy. <laughs> so Christians believe that they can find their true happiness by being friends with God. But they also believe that God puts people and things in our lives here on earth that can bring us happiness too. And that he asks us to be happy with what we have got. So we've got three questions for you, haven't we, Becca? <laughs> to help you think about this a little bit more. Why don't you pause the video after each question, have a think about the answer in your head, maybe write it down, or if someone's with you, you could have a chat with them about their answer. What do you think Jesus was trying to teach people with that story? I wonder what you think would make you really happy. I wonder if you can think of three things in your life that you are thankful for. Well, it's now come to that time for us to pray together. And if you agree with my prayer, I would love you to say Amen at the end. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you that you are always there for us. When we are happy, and when we are sad. Please help us to be caring and to help other people be happy. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Oh, Amen. Well, I think it's time for us to finish off with a song. So why don't you stand up as we sing and dance together? for joining us. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day and remember to tune in next week. See you soon. Bye bye.